everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be carrying on with this picture from Erie so the first color that I'm going to go in with is warm gray light 120 so this is the castle arts 120 set so I thought we'd start today by doing this wall here um, in the background so I'm just going to go ahead and do a light coat of this warm gray over the top of this so this will be like our base colour and then we can add some more colours to it to sort of darken it up and add some shadows and things as well. So next I'm going to go in with Davies Grey which is 067 and I'm going to go ahead and add some darker bits to this. So I'm going to go ahead and darken up underneath here because this would be casting a bit of a shadow and I'll do down along the edge as well. So you just want to use a bit more pressure at the top and closest to the lines and then just sort of lift the pressure as you come away. So we'll do the same for this side because this would have a bit of a shadow to about there I think. Here I think we'll give it a little bit of a shadow from where the blanket is on there. So we'll just do a little bit along there. And again, just lift the pressure to blend that out. And for this bit here, I think we'd have some shade along both edges. So I'm gonna do both edges of this. And then I'm also going to darken up the bottom section of this. So I'll do this edge here as well. And then just along the bottom. Next I'm going to go in with Sap Green which is 113 and this is like a mossy colour so I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of like a mossy colour here on this edge and then I'm going to do the same on this edge here. Then going back in with Warm Grey Light 120 I'm going to go ahead and blend this all together. So I'm just going to use a bit more pressure now and just go over everything that we've already put in and just darken this all up a little bit and then we can see how it's all looking and if we need to add any more different colours. So I'm just going to go back in with Davies Grey and I'm just going to use this to lightly blend this colour out a little bit better because I can still see a little bit of a harsh line there and just darken up the shading at the same time. So I'll go ahead and do the same for all of it. So I'm going to stick with Davies Grey and I'm going to fill in this bottom edge here because this would all be a bit darker than the top edge. So next taking Cool Grey 065, I'm going to add a bit more of a shadow to this. So this is a little bit darker than the colour that we've just put down. So I'm going to concentrate this on this line here where it sort of joins with the top edge. And just work your way along. Do a little bit of that side there and we'll just darken up this side bit there too. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back in with warm grey light, 120, and I'm going to do a base coat on all of these little bollards at the bottom. And then going in with Davies Grey, I'm going to start to add some shade to these. So I'm going to shade here where they meet the top of the wall because that would be a little bit darker. And then again under here would cast a bit of shadow. So add a bit of shade under there. This one I'm going to add some shade along this edge here from the blanket. And then it would have a little bit under here from the leaves. So do the same for this one, so underneath there and along where the blanket is. So this one would have some shade from the table. And this one. So do this one all the way down this side so it's got a bit of shade from the table and we'll do the same for this side. Okay so next going in with sap green I'm going to add a little bit of moss where the leaves are sort of over the actual bollards because that would create a bit of moss on there. So I'm just going to use light pressure and I'm just going to add a little bit of this green colour here. And anywhere where the flowers are sort of over the bollards. Just to give it that effect, like the moss is coming off and, and growing up onto here. So then going back in with cool grey, which is our darkest shade, I'm going to go ahead and darken up some of the shadows a bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and darken up the very top edge of these bollards. So I'm just exaggerating the shadows here and just making them look slightly darker. So 
So then I'm going to go in with warm grey light, which is our lightest colour, and just go ahead and blend this all together and darken it all up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in with our darkest colour, which was Cool Grey 065. And I think I'm going to fill in the tops of these. So what I think I'll do is just do sort of the one edge and the other edge. And then just lift the pressure and leave a little bit of the lighter grey in the middle. So I'll go ahead and do that for all of these. This one I'll just fill in completely because you can only see a little tiny bit of it. Okay, so next we're going to tackle the gaps in between the actual um, bollards and I'm guessing that you would see the water come through. So we're going to do this as water. So the first shade that I'm going to use is Cobalt Turquoise Green 101. Now this was the, um, not the lightest colour that we used for the water, but it was the medium one. So sort of like a little bit darker than the lightest. So I want to make all of this darker because it is actually like underneath all of this. So I assume it would be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as our base. So I'm just going to go in light pressure and just fill all of this in with this colour. Next, take in teal green light, which is um, this colour here, the really darker blue. We're going to go ahead and add some shade to this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is darken up around the bottom edge because this would be a little bit darker, especially here where we've got um, the leaves and things. They would be casting a bit of a shadow over the water. So I'm going to go ahead and start to darken this up. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure as I come up the paper. This bit I'm going to darken up completely because it would all be in shadow from the table. Thank you. 
So this bit here would all be darker. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And then all here, probably to about here. So that's lighter pressure there. And then just start to darken up underneath. And then this bit, because it's all round the edge, I'm going to fill this bit in completely. So we'll go ahead and add some shadow at the top as well. shadow here from the tabletop and I think we'll do a bit just a small amount here just to darken up around this map Okay, so next I'm going to go back in with Cobalt Turquoise Green 101 and I'm going to fill this middle bit in here and see what it looks like and see if we maybe need to add any sort of different colours to this. So I'll just go ahead with normal pressure and just fill this in. So I'm going to take it over the darker blue as well and then just work my way up to the top and just blend everything together. Okay, and as you can see, that's too similar in colour, so I'm going to have to go for a lighter colour than this. So I'm going to go in with Cobalt Turquoise 048, and I'm going to try that to see if it's a little bit lighter. So I'll try it in this little section over here. And already you can tell that's a bit lighter, so I'll go ahead and fill this in. So I'm just using normal pressure for this. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and fill this in.
Okay guys, so that's the water bit done. So as you can see, that colour was too dark because it's just completely made that look darker. Whereas this bit has got a bit more um, where you can see the darkness. Okay, so next we're gonna tackle the little table here. So I'm gonna make this match the lamp that we did. So we're gonna go in with the pink again. So this is Azalea Pink 082, and this is the base colour that we're gonna use for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a base coat on all of the table. Then going in with Grenadine Nought 80, we're going to add some shade to this. So I'm going to shade here where the tabletop meets the stand because that would be a bit darker and then just sort of lift the pressure as you come down darken up under here and do the same just lift the pressure as you come down and again there for these bits I'm going to darken either edge just leave a bit of light in the middle. So now for the tabletop, I'm going to go ahead and darken the rim all the way along. And fill in this edge piece here. And then I'm going to bring this along the bottom as well. Just darken up this edge. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure to start to blend that out. So next I'm going to add some shade under the objects on the table. So I'm literally just going to go around the bottoms of these and then just lift the pressure to blend this out. Then going back in with Azalea Pink, I'm going to go ahead and fill that all in. So I'm just going to go over where I put the darker colour as well and just blend this all together. So next I'm going to go in with titanium white and I'm going to use this to go over the little bit that I've left in the middle here. So this will just bring a little bit of the pink colour and just lighten it up ever so slightly. So I'm just going to take that along there and I'll do a little bit down here just to lighten them bits up a little bit. So here where we've left this lighter colour I'm just going to go over it with the white and just drag a little bit of the pink into it. And I'll do the same over here. Okay, so next going in with Yellow Orca 077, I'm gonna fill in the teacup. So this is gonna be our tea within the teacup. So I'll just go ahead and fill that in. Next, taking Mint Green Light 108, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the actual cup itself. So this is um, mint green, so it should be a nice greeny, bluey color. So I'm gonna go around the berries that are on the cup.
And then we're going to go in with Mint Green 107. So this should be slightly darker than the Mint Green Light. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, shade into the cup. So I'm going to do some shade in here where the cup would cast a shadow on the saucer. And then we'll do this side and this side of the rim so that you've just got a little bit of light in the middle. So we'll do the same for the handle, so just the top and the bottom and then I'm just going to go ahead and darken up a little bit at the bottom of the cup and then just sort of lift the pressure as you come up to blend that out I'll just take it right around the rim then going back in with titanium white I'm going to go ahead and go over the lighter parts that I left on here so this edge here, I'm going to go ahead and lighten up and this little bit at the bottom here, we'll do this middle piece here and a little bit on the handle and then I'm just going to go ahead and go over where we left the lighter colour just to blend all of this together. And then for the little berries on the cup, I'm going to fill them in with Lavender 036. So I'm just going to go ahead and just completely fill these in. So sticking with Lavender, I'm going to go ahead and do the berries on here as well because I want these to all look the same so they're going to be like purpley grapes so this is going to be our lightest colour and then I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of a darker colour to this afterwards so next going in with purple lake deep we're going to go ahead and add some shade to these berries so I'm going to focus this on the inside bit, sort of where the berries join, and then just bring it around the one edge. So I'll just darken up more or less the right hand side of these. And they're quite small, so you're not going to need to do a lot of shading. And then going in with a white gel pen, I'm just going to do some tiny little dots onto these grapes. So I'll start with the cup. And as you can see, it's just tiny little white dots. And then for these ones, I'm going to do the white dots where we left the lighter purple, just to really give them a bit more of a highlight. And then going back in with mint green light, I'm going to go ahead and do a light base coat on this little teapot. And then taking mint green, which is our darker colour, we're going to go ahead and add some shade in. So I'm going to shade the bottom of the handle and the top of the handle as well. I'm going to go ahead and shade all along the bottom edge and in here. And going back in with titanium white I'm going to go ahead and go over this so I'm just going to literally go from side to side and sort of drag the colors together and I'm just going to go back in with mint green light and just add 
a little bit more colour down this edge here because you can still see some little white bits. So anywhere you want a bit more colour, you can just pop this over and add a bit more colour. Next I'm going to go in with Perusian Green and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the leaf that we've got on here. Okay guys, so that's how it's looking at the moment. I'm going to leave this here for now and then we'll come back to it next week and carry on with our colour along. So I will see you guys next Wednesday.